What's up, folks? So, uh, I am Australian, but I live here. So it's uh, kind of a pain because you have to talk to every loser you meet every day of your life. And it goes like this. Are you from Australia? My friend went to Australia. <laughs> I couldn't care less. <laughs> Millions of people have been to Australia. It's not the moon. <laughs> And they persist, they're like, I've always wanted to go there. Really? Well, there's flights every day. <laughs> Maybe you should get one and leave me alone. <laughs> then they want to talk about that. But isn't it like a 20 hour flight? Yeah, but you eat snacks and you watch movies. You don't have to swim. <laughs> it's a pretty good deal. You're not rowing. <laughs> The worst is drunk men. Drunk guys always want to come up and they're like, dude, dude, with that accent, you'll get so many chicks. <laughs> like, without it, I'm not getting any. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, because I was a virgin in Australia. <laughs> but with this new information, oh, the sky's the limit. <laughs> I can't wait to start. <laughs> It's a long way from home too, you get freaked out. Like, I moved from my mother's house in Sydney to New York City, right? That's like being Amish and becoming a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> and you first get here, right? And, and I remember walking around my neighborhood and just seeing like posters on this phone box and it said 25,000 New Yorkers are living with HIV and they don't even know. And I thought, well, if they don't know, how do you know? <laughs> Where are you getting your statistics from? <laughs> Who's testing these mystery people without them knowing? <laughs> Maybe it's time to quit the posters and make a few calls. <laughs> Like about 25,000, perhaps. <laughs> Hello, is that John? <laughs> I've got some bad news. <laughs> really? But how do you know? Well, I make the posters, John. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Everything seems to be a fear campaign, though, like a warning or something. I watch a lot of TV here, and every commercial is like, have you got this disease? Or what about this disease? Have you checked your credit score? What about identity theft? Does your penis work? Is your hair falling out? Oh my God. I'm just trying to watch Oprah, you know? I don't really need to be harassed at four o'clock when I wake up. I love daytime TV. It's my favorite. I love those shows. Like, uh, <laughs> I love the ones with the really stupid topics as well. Like the other day I was watching one and the topic for the whole show was why do men cheat? And I thought, boy, I wish I was the guest. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the show. Today, we're looking at why men cheat. And this is our guest expert, James Smith. Tell us, James, why do men cheat? Well, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> That's because they want to bang other chicks. <laughs> I know, I was as shocked as you are. <laughs> and that's our show for today. <laughs> Thank you, James. My pleasure. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> it's always those redundant topics though, isn't it? It's like, why, why do men cheat? Why won't men commit? I'll tell you why men won't commit. Once and for all, right? It's because the marriage vows are ridiculous. They are, until death. Until what? <laughs> I'm too scared to sign a cell phone contract. <laughs> for two years. <laughs> because I look at the phone and I think, there'll be better phones than this. <laughs> <laughs> 